EFMB is historically a difficult badge to, to get. It's really a, a distinguisher for our medical folks. It's two weeks of training our candidates in land navigation, day and night, TCCC, tactical combat casualty care, medical evacuation, and their warrior skills and tasks. And then one week of rotating through those different lanes and, and testing them on their proficiency. For individual soldiers, it's important to strive to be the top of their field and the expert badges will delineate them in the top 1% of their peers should they achieve the expert badge, including the expert field medical badge. In the past few years, they've made it so that it's E3B, the expert field medical badge, expert infantry badge, and the expert soldier badge. So it's all three expert badges that will be running concurrently at the same time. And it allows a good cross training also for individual soldiers to take a glimpse at what other soldiers have to do for their expert badges individually too. So I feel like going out for EFMB is important because it's one of the few badges that AMED can go try out for. I know for me personally, I love challenges, and since it's such a hard badge to earn, that's one of the main reasons why I want it. But also, it is important for my career, so long term, I know it would be beneficial, but mainly because I enjoy being out here in the field. I think it's important for us to allow other nations' militaries to try out for the EFMB because we get to learn more about them, they get to learn more about us, and they get to see what our military is about. Historically, there's a pass rate that's around 20 to 30 percent. It's looking like we'll probably be within that range as well. And it's not just the badge, but it's the training that leads up to it. It really prepares them for what they might train on, what they might see real world in the future.